Alright, look, as much as I want to make a full-length review for Space Patrol Luluco, there just isn't enough material for me to put a considerable amount of time to completely deconstruct it. It's short, it's schizophrenic, it's a devoid of any coherent meaning besides Trigger wanting to make a short vanity project to air beside Kiznaiver, so this seems like an excellent time to test the little review format that I have been brewing inside my head ever since I went on my short hiatus, and here pretty soon a counter will appear on the screen, and I will have exactly three minutes explaining Space Patrol Luluco's strengths, weaknesses, and overall recommendations. I hope you're ready, because the review starts now! Trigger is a big name studio most popular for the work on Kill a Kill, an over-the-top action series that spawned a dearth of popularity, both good and bad, and were the primary contributors to the anime classic Burn Logan, which is held close to many people's hearts, myself included. So needless to say, there was a lot of hype going around when Trigger announced that they were doing two animes this season, but I'm only doing Space Patrol Luluko, because I've already wasted 30 seconds. Space Patrol Luluko revolves around an ordinary girl named Luluko, trying to live a normal life with her dad in space colonization zone, Okikubu. Her dad works for the Space Patrol, and after he accidentally eats one of his freezing capsules, Luluko is forced to join Space Patrol over to cover the cost of unfreezing him. After an embarrassing accidental arrest where Luluko detests the job, she suddenly finds out that a boy named Alpha Omega Nova is also part of the Space Patrol, and after he praises her, she quickly develops a crush for him, and that's all you need to know because nothing else really matters, besides the jokes, of course, which I will try my hardest not to spoil here. So, what's good about Space Patrol Luluko? Well, it's really hysterical, and this is an aspect where having Trigger provide its fun and absurdist flavor gels really well. Nothing about the show is predictable in the slightest. The mission to destroy an asteroid can turn into an awkward family reunion. There are four different occasions where Luluko is forced into other trigger works, and often seeing Luluko respond to the pretty petty stuff done by Nova can provide great reaction images, though you've probably already seen those. There are several instances where Trigger is obviously making fun of the lack of budget, and like how Luluko's boss never ever leaves his desk except for an elaborate transformation sequence that ultimately does nothing. The fact that every couple of episodes of the new seasons, and just being a joyful and exciting series to watch with friends especially. It also helps that this is very much an anime that doesn't take itself too seriously, and will often put its characters in distraught and downright perilous situations for the sake of pulling a gag, and it works tremendously. However, this also showcases the show's weaknesses by largely being a celebration of the studio's work, and if you aren't familiar with those works, you're going to be left out of the loop of some inside jokes. Characters that aren't Luluko get very little screen time and even less development, with Nova being the obvious a standout, and that's not even mentioning the secretary who doesn't speak a word of dialogue throughout the entirety of the series. And it doesn't help that despite the ending being extremely bombastic and trigger-esque, it kind of left me underwhelmed through the last couple of episodes, trying desperately to make some sort of semblance of a plot, relatively few jokes, and pacing that just stops for no real reason. There's a bit of a tease with that Luluko will return in some shape and form, and it would be nice to see her get her own full-length series where she can explore her Koopa universe and develop an actual character rather rather than the bog-standard school girl type who just wants to be normal no matter what. And her parents are always causing her so much trouble, and why, universe, why must you hate Luluko so much? So yeah, a little less that. However, that's not to say that I didn't enjoy the series, because for the most part, it was quite fun to watch and a great escapist distraction that few anime can achieve. Nonetheless, it's unfortunately nothing I can just recommend to people blindly, so if you have no idea what a trigger work is, seriously, how do you watch anime and not know what a trigger work is? I highly suggest watching one of those before tackling this one, and if you find yourself Enjoy. So uh, after a awake, just a gun more thing, I have decided to give Space Patrol Luluko a solid 62% and give you the recommendation to stream if possible. See you soon guys and let me know if you like this format. Until next time.